All right, so recently I've built a few guns. Obviously, I built the Dunkus's uh, Oud Assault Pistol version 3.6. Um, I also built the Mezak pistol by Zach and Methane. Um, I built them because Oud ammo is used quite often in wars, at least the wars uh, I've been at. And um, so I figured I probably should uh, invest some time into looking at these guns, um, considering they're two of the more popular ones uh, right now. So, anyway. The Oud Assault Pistol, uh, a lot of cool things about it. I really like the uh, the Y-Con construction, basically. It's, uh, it's solid and uh, very sexy looking. The Mezak gun, it's a brick. Um, I liked a lot about both of the guns, and I disliked a few things here and there. What I did not like about the Oud Assault gun is I didn't really like... He had, like, a protruding piece right here in the middle of the handle. I removed that modded the handle a bit, um, all the internal mechs are the same, and then the front is obviously modded up to accommodate the new mag, because the mag on the Oud Assault Pistol, I just couldn't stand the thing, it just was not working for me, so I got a mag on here now that, uh, it's basically the Mezak mag, um, as you can see, you pull it down, it's going to lock into place, um, I modded it up a ton to get it to work with the gun, and, um, Right here, I've ran wrapped around the bottom of the mag, basically pushing it together. So when you pull this down, it's going to hold really strong because there's a lot more friction on those knobs. So that's really nice to have uh, so you won't have an issue when you go to load it that that thing actually pops up all around and go flying. And I strengthen the top of this, uh, basically the Oud ammo catch, because before it w didn't have this, uh, ball socket in there or the green rod and it was kind of just flopping rounds out it wasn't shooting them very straight so um, yeah just go ahead experiment around this is what I got I'm calling it the uh, the kill me Zach gun um, it's basically just a mod of the Zach gun, the Oud Assault pistol um, and just a bunch of different ideas thrown together um, obviously it started as the Oud Assault pistol but Anyway, um, that's the gun. Let me show you now the stripper clips, which obviously Bacon Edits introduces all the stripper clips. Um, this is the stripper clip for the gun. Uh, it holds 10 rounds. It's got the uh, little clip re release up top. Let me just uh, take you through step by step here. So this yellow rod, easy to find in the grass or wherever you're out playing, so you won't lose it. Basically, it just helps keep all these pieces aligned. So you just, you don't snap it in, you just put it in there. The Y clip pops right off. You're going to have this on, you're going to turn it over. As you can see here, it holds that yellow rod in place real nice. So everything's real solid, keeps all the rods aligned. And uh, the other nice thing is I got this tan clip on the bottom. When you snap it into the gun, the tan clips can add some extra support for you. And because I got this other tan clip on here facing up into the Oud ammo, Whichever direction this uh, Oud ammo is pointing, which is back, this tank clip is going to be facing the opposite direction, so that's going to make things real easy for loading it in there. Um, so let's go ahead, load it up, and we'll shoot it. Um, right now, as you can see, you just pull that down. It's going to stay in place for you. Push that back. You don't have to, obviously, uh, tilt it down when you have uh, the uh, stripper clips, but it does make things easier. So. You just stick it in place like that, you know, flip it back up, you're going to hear it lock, just like that, and uh, hit this back up, you're set to go, remove that little clip. You don't need to remove this yellow rag because when you shoot the gun it's going to come out all on its own and uh, you're set to go. So let me just show you the gun, and as you can see that yellow rag came right out. Everything shoots great, and you just go through until you're out, take it out, blow it up another run, lock it in place, flip it up, move the part, and you're good to go. And you just repeat the process, you can shoot all day, and uh, like I said, a lot of good uh, features with this particular uh, mod. Um, so, 
for now, I'm calling it the Kill Me Zach Gun, and uh, go ahead, test it out, tell me what you think.